I wasn't doing well in med school. I was close to failing out. In fact, I did fail. I had not only failed my first step of my medical board exam, I also failed my second step. It was the first time I really failed in my life when it counted, twice. And I was taught all my life as a kid not to fail. If you fail, you're a failure, you're a failure. And I tell you, those standardized tests are culturally biased, okay? Against people who don't study very hard. Now, I didn't know if medicine was the right roadmap for me. I was at a crossroads. I was thinking maybe I don't have what it takes to be a doctor. So I really had to figure out who I was. And my mentor at Oxford said, you never have to choose between comedy or medicine. He predicted I would blend both worlds. And that's exactly what happened when I created Dr. Ken, show on ABC, although based on my medical life. And quite honestly, he saved my career. I worked in his lab for a year. I got published in the Medical Journal of Gastroenterology. I even got UNC Med School credit for it. Long story short, I was able to hang in there just by pure persistence. And at the end of the year, I retook both steps of my board exams here in New Orleans at the Superdome and passed and ultimately was able to graduate medical school. I got a second chance in life, got myself back on track. And at the same time, I was learning and immersing myself in the art of stand-up, improv, and comedy. And because of that, I got to perform in Hollywood. Two years later, I moved to LA fully qualified, thick-skinned, and ready to pursue my comedy dreams as well. I was able to persist and become both a doctor and a comedian. I always had the potential to do both. I had the tools, but it doesn't matter if you have the tools. If you don't know what to do with them, it's useless. So to the class of 2022, find out who you are first, just like I did in New Orleans. And some of it, you, some you probably thinking, you ultimately became a comedian anyway, so why does it matter that you even became a doctor? It matters everything. Because in life, if you quit one thing, what's to say I wouldn't quit my next thing? What's to say I wouldn't quit being a comedian? There is so much rejection and failure in Hollywood, far more than in any other profession. It's not comedy, persistence is my greatest talent. In fact, I am practicing what I'm preaching right now. My life is this speech. I couldn't attend last night's honorary degree recipients dinner because I'm filming a TV series in LA. Sorry, I cannot disclose what it is. <clears throat> After party all in Apple Plus season one currently streaming, but I was determined to get here this morning no matter what. I took a red eye flight. I am operating on zero sleep because nothing is more important to me than talking to you now. Persist, never give up. Then pass out on your return flight. I challenge you, the graduating class of 2022, to find your toughness, cultivate your love for what you do, and never give up. Thank you. Trust me, I'm a comedian.